It's Angelina from the Jersey shore appears at the TNA impact tapings in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And the talent is told by the office that she did the appearance for exposure and was not paid. And of course, eventually word gets out. Nope. She got seven grand. This is a time where TNA is not just uh, flush with cash. And I'm sure that probably upset some folks here or there. Are you having to hear about any of that? Are you dabbling in? So help know, me understand where the word gets out. Did uh, Joni Kenny, the accountant, say that show a canceled check for $7,000? Because the fact that she even got paid, that would have been a rarity for TNA just in and of itself. Okay. So anybody hearing that, being on the roster, they should know. Oh, no way. Maybe they would have been mad just at that fact. Not a, you know, but anyway. So who who's saying this? Oh, it was on the torch. Oh, well, goddamn, it's got to be true if it's in the torch. The fuck, please. So you don't believe she got seven grand? I'm telling you, going back, and I, I look, I didn't see it in any write-offs. I didn't see it in any payroll. When I went back after I had control of all that shit and went back, no. Yeah. That was one of those, hey, they want uh, the, the one... Oh God, there was, um, there's one of those kids on the Jersey shore that we used. And again, we didn't pay him, but we did go to them to talk to them. Was it Ronnie or something? Yeah, yeah Ronnie. Okay. And we went to him to try to do a match to which we would have paid him for, but it wasn't anywhere close to that kind of money. And I would, uh, you know, let's say, and they've had other books, unless they were other books that I just didn't see. Um, there, there's no way that she got paid $7,000. There's no way. Didn't based, on the, based on the way you just leaned forward and some other, I was picking up what you were putting down, trying to read between the lines. Did I drop something? You, when did you know or have an inclination or, or when did you guess that perhaps TNA was running multiple sets of books? Because that's been an allegation that, that has existed for a long time. And I don't have all the court documents in front of me, but all the wrangling once upon a time with Corgan and Dixie and then Anthem. I mean, it certainly feels as if, listen, some people have gone on record as saying, quote unquote, TNA cooked the books. I didn't see it. I don't know that, but I am saying people have said that. When did you start to hear or feel that, Hey man, uh, so-and-so saying something totally different from what I've seen, but they really believe it. I mean, that, when that's... I saw it, okay. When I you... saw it with my own eyes. So three months later, after this, you saw with your own eyes, there's two sets of books. Uh, no, not, not at that point. I probably the last year. Okay. That I knew that, but again, Come on, Conrad. You, you seriously think that a company like TNA is going to pay whoever this girl was on Jersey yeah. Shore $7,000 to come and wave? No. Please. That That's just some Mark in Minnesota writing down shit that I'll be. This is how it starts. Somebody says, oh, you got to have me get my check. See, I bet they paid uh, the Jersey Shore people to be there. Oh, how much do you think she got? Oh, I bet she got 10 grand. Uh, and I only heard it was 7,500. And, then, and yeah. then somebody picks it up and then somebody runs with it. And then it becomes fact. Right. And that's just not the case.